what are you hearing so far? They were talking about a contract extension, and I think, you know, at the risk of oversimplifying, it's clear those the talks fell apart, uh, and they couldn't come to an agreement on what that would look like. Uh, and at this point, his deal ran through 2017, so if they weren't going to move forward with him beyond 2017, it seems like they might want to get whoever the new person is in now. Uh, as Adam mentioned, very hard to believe that Andy Reid would have signed a, a contract extension of this length without knowing who the general manager was going to be. How do you, or, how do you do? Yeah, how do right. you know? So um, I, I would expect an internal candidate like a Brett Veach, who's a 40-year-old personnel guy that, that was with Andy Reid in uh, Philadelphia, to be a strong consideration here for GM, even though he's young and unproven in the role. But they'll do a search. They'll look outside, and, and you know, you'll hear a lot of the familiar names. But in terms of John Dorsey, yeah, it was a surprise. People I talked to yesterday were shocked. And in terms of what happened, you know, we we're just kind of trying to piece it together. You heard that maybe ownership was aggravated about some of the cap trouble resulting from the delays in getting deals done for like Eric Berry and Justin Houston. Uh, the Macklin thing obviously made um, the organization look not great. The whole he got cut by voicemail. I, I can't believe John Dorsey, a GM as, as successful as he's been, would be fired for something like that. But it's possible that if you were building a case to not extend him, uh, that it could factor in.